when you inhale through the nose, you clean your brain. When you exhale from the mouth, you clean your body, so you remove tension. It often happens if you've avoided a confrontation, but the stress is still there and you bring it into the family. It's a very important exercise. It doesn't allow bad thoughts to stay in your mind. Even if they come, you're able to exhale them. We always break our breathing. I need to have that experience. Breathe, breathe, breathe all the time. It doesn't matter what happened. This way you study how to avoid any fear. We know we have lots of fears in our body and they, there's more and more accumulate with age. You start to recognize if I can feel fear inside yourself, sooner or later you feel fear inside the other people too. We're trying to develop a habit of any time you get a discomfort that you maintain breathing and maintain muscle readiness. This way you're always ready for a fight, but in a subtle way. When people start to scare you, especially with a knife or something, usually you lock your breath because people cannot even scream. Problem is cannot scream, cannot even run away. You restore yourself in such a way that your body becomes younger because you're looking for ways to breathe and ways to move to reverse time. Because, for example, if you break my finger, right, and you go like that, and, and you, whoa, I start to make you happy, right? I'm afraid, afraid, and then you, then I relax, that's it. <laughs> this is how you learn how to continue breathing when you're being hit in a fight. And this, in a way, is a new revelation. You're making your body tough by way of breathing.